The past few months, our investigates team has reported on growing concerns at the Department of Children's Services. Yeah, many employees say rate rising caseloads and even a high turnover within their own department are putting vulnerable kids at risk. And as News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky's learned, now agencies that partner with DCS caseworkers are stepping in to help stressed out workers. Our kids, the most vulnerable kids in Tennessee, are not getting the things that they need. State lawmakers have sounded the alarm for months. You really get the sense when you read through this that they're, these people are really asking for help. A recent employee survey blasted current leadership at DCS because of high caseloads and what some employees called a toxic environment. We're not being able to cover all the bases with these kids because they are understaffed. Local nonprofits who work hand in hand with DCS caseworkers on children's cases say they've seen DCS staff struggling. I think that the, the workers are more hidden than the families that are struggling. Court appointed special advocates or better known as CASA is one of those nonprofits. Earlier this year, CASA Nashville noticed an uptick in the severity of cases their advocates and DCS caseworkers were faced with. We were seeing more sex trafficking, more sexual abuse, more kids showing up to the hospital with severe injuries um, because they hadn't been seen by someone else who could could let let the authorities know there was an issue. Darlene Vistano has volunteered on cases with nearly 100 kids through Casa Nashville during the past 21 years. Emotional stress of some of these um, children, the traumas that they have been through, you you experience that right along with them. Even though you didn't go through it yourself personally, but you are feeling what they're feeling. She says with more severe cases, the weight is greater. It's emotional. It's stressful um, to try to help them heal from what they have gone through. Seeing this among their volunteers and the DCS workers they collaborate with, CASA decided to do something to help. We saw the support that people were giving nurses and healthcare workers, and less of them are wanting to do that work because it's so hard. And our view was that we don't want that to happen in the social work field too. So we need to do something now. And we, of all people, know what trauma does to, to the brain. Starting this week, CASA and three other agencies in Nashville set up charging stations for DCS and other Children's Services staff to recharge and even receive counseling of their own. We also are bound by confidentiality, so it's not like our staff can go home and talk to their family members and their partners about what they've seen, but they can talk to their supervisor. They can sit in a room. They can have a cup of tea. They can do some mindfulness activities around breathing, coloring. All of those mindfulness activities are proven to calm the central nervous system and to help a person alleviate the stress and anxiety that they've experienced. A safe space provided by nonprofits for state workers. Social workers are humans too. They're human and they work really hard in very difficult circumstances. And I hope that this will help people at home understand that um, the people that are doing this work have their hearts in the right places and they just need a little bit of help through what is a hard time right now. DCS has nearly 500 case manager vacancies statewide, which means nearly 20% of Tennessee's caseworkers are missing. That's up from 380 vacancies at the beginning of August. Now the department admits that they are having turnover like many other organizations across the country and say they are aggressively taking steps to retain staff and create a healthy work environment. In Nashville, Claire Kopsky, News Channel 5. Now, so far, the charging stations are at Casa Nashville Family and Children's Services, the Family Safety Center and the Davidson County Juvenile Court. Casa says they hope public spaces like the local libraries will also add charging stations to help DCS workers no matter where in the city they might be for house visits.